Today, I will be showing you how to maximize your deadlift. If you know deadlift is my favorite exercise, and I'll be showing you how to do your deadlift and how to really maximize from this exercise. So let's get right into the video. Deadlifts are a fantastic full body exercise that can benefit anyone, whether you're a beginner or an experienced lifter. Understanding proper form is crucial to get the most out of this exercise without risking getting injured. Deadlift targets multiple muscle groups, including your hamstring, glutes, lower back, and core. Plus, they are incredibly effective for building strength and improving posture. Let's dive in into the key points of deadlifting. The hip hinge is fundamental to a successful deadlift. Keep your back straight. Push your hips back and maintain a neutral spine throughout the entire movement. You need to squeeze when you are coming up because I want you to engage your glutes during your lift, which is very important for deadlifting. When you use your glutes properly, this can help you with your hips and also help you with a powerful lift. I want to say this one more time. You have to focus on contracting your glutes at the top of the movement. Now it's time to move to your spine. When you're performing a deadlift, it's crucial to engage your core and maintain a neutral spine. You want to avoid rounding your back or overextending your spine. Additionally, make sure to grip the barbell firmly, keep your shoulders back, and also, what I'm going to say is drive through your heels. Talk about grip. You can use the standing grip or mix it up. Experiment and find what works best for you. Make sure your hands are shoulder width apart for a solid foundation. Put your hand on the bar with an overhand grip Palms should be facing you. Slide your thumbs under the bar. Wrap your fingers, including the pinky, around the bar. Trapping the thumb in place. Squeeze your fingers tightly around the thumb to create a secure grip. Having a strong and secure grip is super important for lifting heavy weights. However, there's so many different types of grip. You have the hook grip, which is where you place your hands on the bar with an overhand grip. Palms should be facing you. Slide your thumb under the bar. Wrap your fingers, including your pinky, around the bar. Trapping your thumb in place. Squeeze your fingers tightly around your thumb to create a secure grip. The double hand grip, this is the most basic grip where both palms are facing you. It's a natural grip and it's easy to learn. However, as the weight gets heavier, it may become more challenging you for you to maintain this grip. Mix your grips up. Try to do facing you or the palms facing away from you. Now it's time for me to demonstrate a proper deadlift. Remember to start with the bar close to your shin. Engage your lats and drive through your heels as you're standing up. If you're new to deadlift, consider starting with a lighter weight or even the bar. Focusing on perfecting your form. Building foundation. Before you begin, I really want you to consult with your personal trainer that you have around your area or just anyone that could actually see your form if you don't have anyone feel free to dm me either a video or a picture of you doing the movement and i could for sure give you tips or see any imbalances progressive overlord is the fundamental principle in strength training and it applies to deadlift as well the idea behind progressive overlord is to gradually increase the demand placed on your body over time the most straightforward way to apply progressive overlord is to lift heavier weights over time Gradually increase the way you live during your deadlift sessions. This can be done by adding small increments to the barbell, such as 2.5 or 5 pounds, or the equivalent to kilograms. Manipulate the number of sets and reps in your deadlift. For example, if you will be doing 3 sets of 5 reps, you might progress to 4 sets of 6 reps or 5 sets of 3 reps. Changing the volume can be an effective way to stimulate muscle growth and strength. Continuously refine your deadlift technique. Proper form ensures that you're targeting the right muscle groups and also minimizing the risk of injury. As your technique improves, you can find that you can lift heavier weights more effectively. Guys, so this is your video for today. I really hope you enjoy this video. If you have any comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to follow me on my other social medias. Had a breath. I'll see you on my next video. Bye. Let's go.